Hello everybody. Sunday evening and it's been a busy weekend. Sorry, I can't see out of my glasses very well. Oops, hang on. So, how is everybody today? A Sunday evening, a busy weekend. I've been busy as a bee and that's rather appropriate because today it's World Bee Day. So who knew that? Who knew it was World Bee Day today? Let's pop this on and let's just refresh the page. So hang on folks, just need to refresh the page so that I can see there. Yeah, so World Bee Day. I noticed this, I didn't know in advance, but I noticed this morning, whoops, let's hang on, let's just refresh the page. I noticed this morning, hi Darren. Ah, and Darren, thank you so much for dropping that link in about World Bee Day um, because I didn't, uh, I didn't know that information. Um, hi everybody, hi Ian, hi Karen, everybody coming in. Um, I thought I'd wear my crown because they do call me Queen Bee. <laughs> Look, I've got a cup to prove it, Queen Bee. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, but it is actually World Bee Day. And so I thought actually because, um, you know, it's, it's, bees are something I care about, you know, the, 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 the dying out of the bees, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, I know it says Burger King, but actually it's my queen because, um, I have earned a nickname of Queen Bee. One of the reasons is I have a network group called White Buzz. And um, so I've earned the nickname of, of Queen Bee. I've been running my network group since 2010. And there does seem to be an awful lot of bees in my flat. I have bee money boxes. And sometimes these go out when I'm doing charity collections at, at you know, at an event. Look, it's a money box. <laughs> um, somebody gave me this uh, early on in my white buzz career. And so it became, so, you know, uh, oh, right. Okay, no problem, Darren. It doesn't matter. Yes, I was down there. I was only down there late today. I'd wanted to go down to the rider bus, but I never quite got there in time. Um, anyway, so, um, yes, so. So this is was a mascot early on for White Buzz, um, the network group. But I am going to talk about uh, bees otherwise. And this Queen Bee White Buzz is what it says on it. And I'll tell you her story in a minute. But when I noticed, um, when I put something up about World Bee Day today, Darren, who's in the broadcast, um, he put a link and I've got that link up now and I'm going to read it to you um, because it was, wasn't something I knew, um, but it's really good. Um, it says, uh, top European court on the B team. Hi, Dawn. The European Court of Justice Thursday ruled in favour of an EU-wide ban on three high-profile pesticides that scientists say, say negatively affect the health of the region's bee population. Um, uh, and then it's it it goes on to tell you that what it what the um what the pesticides are that have been banned and there's a whole lot of information there so if anybody wants to know about that i'll put the link in darren kindly shared it with me earlier when i had um when i had information when i was talking about bees i knew it was i didn't know before that it was world bee day but i was on um twitter this morning and i saw it was trending and so I thought, oh, we, we have to look into this. Um, that's it. Yeah, it's, it is good and, and, and important information that's getting out there. And Darren, somewhere I saw that what would happen if we didn't have any bees and I can't find the list of all those things. So if you know where that list is, I don't know whether it's something you linked me to or whether it's something I saw um, while I was online earlier. But perhaps um, do do if you know what it is, because there's so many things we would lose if we didn't have our bees. But um, thank goodness there's, you know, there's some ruling to stop some of the pesticides, which will stop killing off some of the bees. Anyway, far from killing off the little, you know, I mean, these are, these are not real bees, but um, some of you will know I've been knitting and look, I've been knitting some bees here. Can you see? <laughs> So uh, I have been busy with my knitting. Hello, Laura. Um, <clears throat> and I also I also made a little 
ladybird to go with a friend of the bees. Um, there's another little one here, not finished yet, but you know, if anybody don't, all these things are going into my charity um, collection, my charity knitting. So if anybody um, wants to get any of these things that I knit, all these things, all this, anything from any of these is going into charity. Um, and <laughs> I, um, when I was when I was in my former career as a teacher, I think I told you. I think I've, you've you've heard before. Hi, Chris. Um, I used to do rhymes about bees, and I'm going to do them for you now because I've never forgotten the rhymes I did about bees, and I used to do them on a daily basis to entertain the little children in my care. And one of them, oh look, I can use a bee. One of them that that I used to do was, what do you suppose? A bee sat on my nose and said, I beg your pardon, I thought you were the garden. <laughs> and then the, the other one that I used to do around bees, I used to make, hello, Chris, I used to make a lot of bee finger puppets. I haven't done any of those today, but I can always do those as well. Um, all, as I say, all these knitted things, um, knitted bees and, and all the things I knit are all, um, no, I... What for for the for the um Laura, do you mean for the knitted stuff? I think I need to create a Facebook page is probably the best, isn't it? Because also I'm starting to I need to write the list. Lots of people are now starting to order things, um order things from my knitting. And don't forget folks, this is I am busy as a bee knitting but all all the proceeds are going to charities different charities because i want to support loads of charities um so is that what you meant laura did you mean um a website or a link was it for the knitting because if so then i will set up a page um for the knitting because i think that's going to be the best thing because otherwise i'm going to get confused as to what anybody wants i started to make a list today because i've got somebody who wants a, a squid and an octopus somebody who wants one crab's gone off yeah okay yes all right laura i'll get that set up um because you know there's lots of people now wanting things and laura i need to talk to you privately because i'm not i'm not quite sure what you wanted i think you wanted a doll um i'm not sure whether you wanted the robin anyway let's talk privately or you can send me messages because i want to get the list down so that i can work my way down the list um and make sure that people are getting what they want and if there's a deadline on it i need to know you know if it's something for somebody else then you'll need to let me know the deadlines um so that i can make sure that i do that so um but but today i specifically i, I specifically was knitting the bees just because it was well done i did decide whether to hang them you know to have them on here on my ears <laughs> just because i can hi joe <laughs> um but actually i'll leave them down there so um so yes so that's really why i've taken the b theme hello janet nice to see you um and so um you know it was it was just <laughs> okay uh, laura yeah so um going back to my white bars I'm fine, Janet. You just come in. Um, sort of. I've just. I've been talking about bees because it's World Bee Day today, and um, I have to be careful how I say that. Otherwise, my, people might think I'm talking about a, um, something that goes in the in the washroom area. Sounds a bit like that, doesn't it? Bee Day. World Bee, as in Bzz Day. So let's make sure we get that clear. Um, and yes, it was trending. It was trending on Twitter. And anybody, I don't know if we've got any Twitter users out there, have we? Um, I use Twitter a lot. Lots of people don't understand Twitter and therefore don't use it. It's a very powerful tool. And if anybody wants to know how to use it, then just ask because um, I would love to see a lot more people on Twitter. I remember way back when I first heard about Twitter and I didn't understand it like so many people don't. And I would think, why on earth would I want to know about uh, about Johnny standing at the bus stop eating a jam sandwich? But of course, it's way, way more than that. It is amazing. It is um there's there's all sorts of things that one can do if you're running a business um it's a fantastic place to go to get leads um it's very fast and furious but there's ways um hi karen there's ways of um making it a much more um 
you have Twitter but not quite sure about sending a Twitter. It's about sending a tweet, Ian. And if you want to know Twitter, I will do some Twitter lessons, Twitter classes. I'll help you, Ian. Again, you know, we can meet up and do that. Um, that's right. Yeah, there we go. Just that. Um, but it is very powerful for... Um, uh, and and some of the tools are there's Twitter lists, Twitter chats, Twitter moments, all sorts of things. Hi, Jane. And so, um, but of course, Twitter was how I found out it was World, World Bee Day because when I went on there this morning, that was trending. The hashtag around that was, twen was trending, which is how I knew. Um, and so... Um, I haven't had a lot of time to do much more around that. No, that's fine. And don't forget, of course, I am, on top of everything else, I am Mrs. B. <laughs> I'm known as Mrs. B sometimes. So Mrs. B, White Buzz, um, you know, Queen Bee of White Buzz. It's just too many, too many coincidences here. So I couldn't let it go by without, I mean, obviously the World Bee Day bit is around the, the, um, the saving of the bees and um, as i said as i announced earlier for those of you just coming in late late there has been some ruling that they're ruling out some of the pesticides so the bees will get more of a chance haven't had a lot of time to read up on it but i did put the link in just now for that one let's put it in again if anybody wants to see that um so if you want to know um and my sister will be delighted about that because my sister also very much saving of the bees saving of the planet but that's very much what she's all about um and so that's good so what else have i got um written down on here um whew, i'm hot tonight um yeah um so i have um I've had a bit of a, a lazy day today. I was going to head on down. Um, Ian, you probably saw me late this afternoon. I was going to head down to the bus museum um, because it was ride a bus weekend. And um, yesterday I was down at the River Fest. And so today I was going to go and, and live stream the buses. But, you know, I was looking after me. I was being a lazy. I was having a nice soak in the bath because um, I need to recharge, some, refresh and recharge sometimes. And then um, I decided I had to go down to the station because I've actually got some family time coming up this week um, and needed to sort out a train ticket. And I never quite got to the bus station. I did see some of the vintage buses going by while I was there. And of course, while I was there, it seems like my new friend, fairly new friends, Clive and Sarah, are haunting me and I mean it in the best possible way um we met on the bus I think some of you will know and I was teaching them to knit the other day um yeah that's it oh yeah good so yes I was near the bus station Ian that's right because that's I only got down as far as the bus station then I went with um when I saw Clive and Sarah I went to have a cup of tea with them while I was having a cup of tea. I was doing knitting, knitting bees. And then when I got the back, oh, and then I went to a friend's for dinner, a friend who lives in Union Street, who comes on here often. Don't know if she's in the broadcast at the moment, had a beautiful salad up there. So that was really nice. And then I headed home and on the way home, I knitted some more bees wings <laughs> because, you know, they, they don't, they're not much good if they haven't got the wings on, have they? So I managed to bit, knit the bees wings just coming up from the front up to Binstead. Um, so, uh, as I say, not too busy a day, but a fairly busy weekend all in all. Um, and now, something else I want to um, focus on, and some of you will know about um, my card, the card business that I'm linked to. Now, um, I do want to get more of you um, having a look at this and seeing whether there's potential for you to link up um, some charities to this. So actually, have I got the right page? Let's um, hang on. Sorry. Let me bring in the right page. Um, there we go. We all send cards to Lynn because yesterday while I was out at Riverfest, I had the opportunity to talk to lots of people who were volunteering for charities or running charity stands because there were loads of charity stands yesterday down at um, the Riverside at Riverfest. And um, one of the things that that um, that John Paul, who runs We All Send Cards and his wife Les with his wife Leslie, one thing that they're doing is they want to um, 
to help lots more charities earn lots more money. And so, um, and, you know, he's fed up with these, these schemes where people have put a lot of effort in to help their charities um, through through other various schemes and then all the, lots of hard work and the reward is pennies so basically with the with the we all send cards um he's made it very simple for um charities and for um um cic companies community interest companies he's made it so easy hi matt um that anybody who wants to order a card now in this country, on average, we send 33 cards each uh, a year. And that might be birthday cards, um, anniversary cards, uh, you name it. Just a card because you can. Um, and um, so, see, I I've, I had one des some design that said, go live, feel the fear and do it and, and do it anyway. I've been trying to encourage a lot more people to push the button and go live. And these are our print-on-demand cards. Um, so I I had Leslie design this for me, um, John Paul's wife, and I've got several that I can send out to people that I want to get live streaming. But you can have, you can actually design your own cards on the front, or you can choose from the three thousand plus designs. And there are lots of B designs. I went on there tonight and had a look. Um, to see the B designs. So wait a minute. Let me, um, uh, let me see. Actually, let me share. Let me share my Facebook page for this with you, because that's probably the easiest place to go. And it's got the link. It's got the link to the rest. Um, but they're print-on-demand cards. They're they're more economic than most of the print on demand cards so you can do, you can order a you can design and order a card or you can either design it yourself or you can ha um choose from the designs but you you can personalize the inside and I, can you see i've put a picture an emo um, one of my bitmojis in here and then i've put a personal greeting here i've used a font that looks like handwriting and i've done that but basically um what you can do is hi david is um anybody who wants to order a card if you've ordered it by 1 p.m on in in the week on a weekday it will be dispatched the same day so you can have it actually sent straight to the person you want it sent to but um, for the charities um, any charity that wants to promote this to their um, supporters um, it, they need to get a link so you need to need to connect with me about it and I can direct you to find the to get a link for your charity and then basically all you have to do is let your supporters know and then if your supporters go through the link every card they buy will give 48 pence to the charity now this is amazing And when I was talking to people yesterday at the Riverside about this their eyes popped because you know that is that is worth doing so you know it wouldn't take very many people to start actually um, following a link for a charity to start those 48 pences stacking up and um, you know it's like a pebble in a pool if you start sharing that information it's very easy to do so I want to help lots of the charities each charity needs their own link um, so that you know and, and then they just need to share it it's such an easy system and and um, you know I I just want to help lots more people so we want to be kind and help the charities sorry <laughs> laboring the bee bit um, but you know it is um, it is such an easy fundraiser and um, as I say it's it's now it, John Paul's made it just so easy that's as easy as it is you need a link and any charity or CIC can get the link, which they just share then with their their supporters. So using social media, that's just a, a very easy one, a no brainer. If those charities are using Twitter, I can show them even more how to get found. On Twitter, there's things like um, the hashtag, you use hashtags. On Tuesday, it's always Charity Tuesday. Um, I can I can explain a much more how this works to individual people rather than do a Twitter lesson now. Um, but the potential is massive to help lots more um, 
uh, lots more charities raise their awareness and raise more funds. So that's one of the things I want to do. So if you want to know about, but more about that, then please get in touch. And please, if you can, if you haven't been to the page, um, the, I put the link in there. If you haven't been to the page, please go to the page and at least like the page and then watch and see. Um, I, I need to update the page. I've been too, a bit busy. No excuse. I must go and up, up, um, uh, go and, sorry, what am I trying to say? Go and um, bring the bring the page up to date. Update the page is what I'm trying to say. Getting a bit tongue tied there. Um, so I would love, you know, through We All Send Cards to be helping lots more businesses. Also, lots more charities. It also, if you are a budding artist or a photographer and you would like your work on cards at no cost to you, then let me know. I can introduce you to it. doesn't cost anything to do this. And this card is one of Mo's. I don't know if you can see it's got a robin on it. It's one of Mo's cards. She's got a lot of lovely cards on there. Um, Mo has got her, her logo on the back. White Life Images, Isle of Wight. And this is, she hasn't had to pay to join the business and she doesn't lose the copyright of her cards. I've introduced um, quite a few people to, to the business as artists. So they also are earning an income. I will say that I, there's a little bit of income for me, but, I, you know, um, my main focus actually is trying to help a lot more charities and a lot more artists and photographers get their work out there um so you know we let's let's keep sharing the page and see what we can do there now um another thing a big a big buzz and i'm going to mention this here i'm not quite sure who, how many people it will be relevant to but my son uh, runs a group called social media mentors global which is a a group where you can do if you're if you're running a business or involved with charities and you want to know how to use social media much better and make much more um, impact um, then the social media mentors group is is available and he like he does lots of live streams in there and then he answers all everybody's questions anything you've got about social media any questions there you can ask in there it is a membership group um, so if you want to know about that, then let me know. But as lo if you used it well, it would really, really, um, you would get a great return on your investment. There is a big buzz and very exciting because um, he is going to be running an event. Thank you for the love coming in there. He's going to be running an event in Milton Keynes um, with some some big influencers. Hi, Jasmine. So he's there's going to be some big influence. It's, it's going to be in August. Um, if you're in, if you're interested in knowing any more about that, um, then let me know. It will be anybody who is serious about moving their business on um, and wants to go. Then let me know because there'll be early bird tickets. If you want to want to access it but you can't go, we there is go, there will be an on. I believe there's going to be an online ticket, so you will be able to access the conference even if you can't actually physically be there um, so let me know about that too that is it is very exciting there's a lot of buzz around that um, all sorts of ways of helping businesses um, and you know I've been helping some businesses here on the island to get their visibility raised all sorts of different ways that are free um, you know so um, so do tap into that because um you know, we need to get to raise the visibility and the awareness of so many things, whether it's what's going on on the island. I mean, no, not just on the island, because a lot of you are not islanders. Sorry, but my my focus is raising the ability, the visibility on the island. It's also about um, helping businesses to get their, themselves um, out there more. Um, so there's, you know, there's a lot of power to it. Now, one announcement I've got to make, I don't know. Um, I don't know everybody that's in the broadcast, but um, I was due to have a network meeting on Wednesday night at um, at Kiva's Cafe. And for circumstances beyond my control, we are having to postpone that. I haven't got the postponement date, but don't please don't go to Kiva's Cafe on Wednesday evening at 5.30. I am going to try and tell the individual people that I know had intended to come, but um, I just need to share the message with lots of you who 
might be going to turn up. I'm going to going to put something on the event page this evening, but um, that's had to be postponed. We will have it, but it will just be a question of having another date. Um, and of course, my White Buzz networking meetings are free for anybody to attend, whether you are running a business, whether you're involved with a charity or whether you're just a member of the community who would like to find out more about what's going on, because it's about linking the community, joining up, being the connections. They do call me the connection queen as well as queen bee. <laughs> I seem to have an awful lot of titles, but there you go. Um, and so... Um, that, uh, you know, so, I, I, you know, I've had to say that I've also got to t um, change one or two other appointments this week um, for various reasons. But I will be talking to people individually on that one. Um, so has anybody else got anything they want to share? Any events coming up? Um, you know, it's it's useful. Um, if you're on the island, um, I don't know. Hang on. let me. Oh, what have I done? Hang on. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, if you... I want to actually share another link. Sorry. Whoops. Hang on. This link is the Isle of Wight live link. So if anybody hasn't yet liked this page, we've been hovering around the 950 um, numbers likes for ages i would so love this page to get to a thousand so please if any of you oops hang on i've gone to the <laughs> i've missed my page i've missed out hang on here we go let's put this link in so if any of you can haven't liked this page please could you share the love um, and actually a lot of a lot of all these live streams that I do here I either on the Isle of Wight live page or here on my personal page I do upload them to YouTube so I will be giving you the YouTube channels to go and see so that we can share a lot on YouTube I do um, I do recommend that to anybody who's doing live stream and I'm not sure how many of you are but there should be more of you I want to encourage you because after all it says go live feel the fear and do it anyway one of the cards I have like that it says go on push the darn button you know <laughs> so um i do want you know it's it's such an amazing um tool i was when i was having a soak in the bath today i was listening to podcasts about it and still so few people are using video and live stream to get the word out um so i'm on a mission to get lots more people live streaming get lots more of the charities live streaming lots more of the business live streaming getting the word out also i've been helping people um, get onto google my business because um so many people don't seem to know about that um so there's a lot of stuff that can be used a lot of things can be used a lot of tools out there to get your business and your charities better known so if you want to know any of that, please keep watching and tap in. Um, in the meantime, um, I will be set. I will set up that page, the the Facebook page um, for the knitting, so that any of you want to um, let me know what you want in the way of knitting. I don't do big jumpers and big things like that. I do all the fun things, all the the toys, and as we know, bees because it's it's will be day. Um, so, you know, and somebody, somebody's requested a white cat with yellow eyes. So I'm just looking out patterns for that. If I, if I haven't got a pattern, I can probably find a pattern for what you want. Um, I, I've got some meerkat patterns. I've got all sorts of patterns. I've got clowns and snails and worms and, oh, you name it. I, I seem to have uh, so many patterns, but just let me know if there's anything you want there. As I say, that's all for charity. That's my way of helping charities. And um, so I think probably that's all we've got. Have I have I done everything? Let me look at my notes. Let me look at my notes. Um, you know, so I've taken a, a rather um, different tack. As I say, back to the seriousness of the World Bee Day. That is about um, preserving our bees. Um, you know, and I am serious about that. Although I can, I've taken a rather more comical bee um, theme tonight um, so I'm going to end up there I'm going to go and have a little um, relax and maybe do a bit more knitting and I will see you all soon um, do let me know if there's anything you want to know if there's any things you want me to knit or if you want to know about 
um, the charity, you know, the charity side of the card business, or if you want to be a business builder yourself and earn an income as well through the cards, just let me know. There's so many options for so many different people. Um, and it's just really about sharing that news. And um, one day soon, I will be interviewing um, John Paul, who set up the We All Send cards. Um, we did an interview early on when I first joined, um, but I, so much has changed about the business and he is going to do, do that. So he said he will, but we haven't fixed a date for that. Um, and I've got various other people that I will be interviewing soon. Um, so watch out for all that. But I am going to go and chill. I think I'm going to have a cuppa and a bit more knitting and a bit more relaxing before bed. <laughs> so lovely to see you all. Thanks for being here and uh, see you all again soon. Bye. Love you lots.